Well, you know, we've got lots to talk about. Did Olympic runner Oscar Pistorius threaten a witness? And why one judge is being accused of blaming the victim? Attorney Sue Moss is back to give us some insight on the legal stories making headlines. And let's start with this, because we were just screaming about it in the studio. Yeah. The wow. Kardashians coming to Southampton? either Southampton or East Hampton, they haven't made a decision yet. You know, ever since the Jersey Shore show, the Hamptons have been paranoid that they're going to be snookified. <laughs> so everyone in the Hamptons is up in arms. They don't want the Kardashians there. They don't want the show. Can you blame them? Well, it's going to be pretty exciting to have them out there, but no, everyone is up in arms. The good news is that although they certainly can't tell the Kardashians they can't go there, um, both the towns of Southampton and East Hampton have the ability to stop filming. That's what because I was going to ask We've you. seen along the Jersey Shore, sure. these municipalities have mm -hmm. said we've had enough. That's right, and they can say when, where, and if there will be any filming. All of the different towns of the Hamptons do have a rule. There is to be no filming whatsoever between Memorial Day and September 30th on the beaches, which is good because uh, gains Thank a few Thank God. Pounds. Yeah, no kids, yeah. sister. Hello, I'm you with know, you. That's, I hear uh, I'm really glad about that. But they really are going to put every sort of uh, fork in the road so that there is as limited amount of filming as possible right. in the Hamptons. But production is not going to want to deal with a restriction like that. You know, So that's going to be a really big hurdle for them that's to get true. over. That's true. Well, they, they can still do interiors. It all depends where they but set that's up not, camp. No, I think a lot that's not the Hamptons. I was going to say, huh. and I also think a lot of what they look for in that show is the reaction from other people. Right. You know, like they want that. So we'll see. We'll yeah. see if they end up going there. Tell us about this judge in Texas who's uh, blaming the victim. What is the story? Oh, my God. There was a 14-year-old who was the victim of a gang rape. 14 years old, and there was a 20-year-old who was convicted of that crime. And instead of sentencing him to 20 years, which is, you know, not unnormal for that, that crime, in Texas, he was given probation. And the reason he was given probation, the judge looked to the alleged sexual history of a 14-year-old. Now, even if there was consensual sex, is that this even allowed? is statutory rape. Yeah. And for this judge not to throw the book at any adult having sex with a 14-year-old is beyond comprehension, and it's wrong. In this country, Every single jurisdiction has something called a rape shield law. And what that means is you have to protect the sexual history of the victim because otherwise no one's going to come forward and report these horrific crimes. Sure. And the fact that this judge stood there in open court explaining a 14-year-old's alleged sexual history past and mocking her is just a travesty. What happens wow. next? Can he, be, can he be, I mean, obviously we, we can appeal it. Well, the good news is there's been been such public outrage that that judge stepped off the case. A Good. new judge came in, wasn't able to change the entire sentence, but did make it a little bit stricter. At the very least, put in a lot more requirements about this person has to be drug tested, this person has to, um, if they're in a gang at all or any affiliation, they're going to be head off to jail. At least they made it a little tighter. Yeah, but nothing makes up for the humiliation yeah. that yeah. this young lady yeah. had to go through. Absolutely. So that's horrible. And she's not a young lady. She She's a kid. She yeah. She's a kid. Yeah. Okay, uh, bigger kids here. Want to get uh, your take on the uh, Donald Sterling. Oh, okay. yes. And God. everybody going after the girlfriend, but also now he's saying he doesn't want to sell the team, allegedly. We have yeah. another voice recording. Oh, absolutely. Well, the, the best thing is they're going after um, V, saying that because uh, when she was 19 year old, she, she allegedly stole a $5 t-shirt from Old Navy, that Donald Sterling must not be a rapist. Oh, okay. But, a racist. But the good news, racist. A racist. racist. Yeah. But the, I'm mixing the stories. Yeah, but I the know. good news is, the good news is that she did pay for that visor. Okay, she well, did not steal that. the But then, I gotta tell you, as a Mets fan, as a, I gotta bring this back, as a Mets fan, I feel really bad for the Clippers fans. They've had years of these horrible seasons, and finally, when Doc Rivers gets them good, mm -hmm. Powzo. Yes, exactly. Powzo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now quickly before you go, we want to talk about the Oscar Pistorius case. First, the reports that he uh, was taking acting lessons, but now there are allegations that he may have threatened one of the uh, witnesses. He, he allegedly goes up to the best friend and says, how can you sleep at night? I'm surprised she didn't say, well, since I don't shoot people peeing in my bathroom, I have no problem sleeping at night. Well, I, he is outrageous. I mean, honestly, but I, I, there's going to be a conviction. You think so? Absolutely. Oh, well, 
you know what? We'll have you back uh, when something goes down. So if only we could get Sue Moss to come out of her shell. I, I um, know. Thank you so much and happy Mother's Day. I feel thank like you're you. on a four today. We need you at like an hey. eight next Ooh. week. Okay. Eight. So no. thank Eleven. you. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. So Not ten.